Hello, how is everyone? Who's ready to do some art? Welcome to Planet Art. You're in the right place. Now, today we're going to make an animal and it's one that's got a very, very long neck and really quite long legs as well. It's one of the tallest mammals in the world. In fact, it is the tallest mammal in the world. Who can think what it might be? What could it be? Hmm, have a little think. Which animal that you might have seen in a zoo has the longest neck you have ever seen? Of course, a giraffe. Who's ready to make them giraffes? Yes. Thumbs up for giraffes. Now look. Oh, here's mine. I made earlier. Oh, and look, the neck, is, the neck is longer and longer and longer. Look. Oh my goodness, it's huge. Here it is. Look. Do, 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 do. What do you think? Do you think I've done a good job? Look how big it is. It really is quite huge. I'm sure you can make an even better one than mine. Oh, I just saw, I forgot my ears. So we'll put these on later, won't we? I'll show you what to do. I'll make one with you now. Are you all ready to make one? Yes, I am, yes, I am. Here we are, look, there it is. So I'll put this over here and let's get started. Bye, see you later. So we'll put my one here. Now let's just check that we've got everything we need. So this one's down here. So have you all got a lovely big piece of card? Like this one, here's mine. Lovely, check. And then a slightly smaller one. So we can cut out, check. We can cut out the legs and everything. And then we need two plates or round things to draw around. Doesn't have to be china, it can be anything. Could be a bowl maybe or a cup or it could be plastic, mine is china. So just remember if you do use china, what do we have to remember? It can break, exactly. It's very <coughs> fragile, isn't it? But the good thing is, I know you're very, very good and very careful and we can easily trust you with that sort of thing. So two plates, one big and one small. And then we have, I've got my crayons, my pot of crayons, wax crayons. So I hope you've got yours as well. If not, don't worry. We'll, in a little while, we'll give you some time to go and run and get everything if something's missing. Now, what's this? Exactly, it's a stapler. Now, if, if you do have one of those, it'd be amazing if you could get it. If not, then just get some really strong sticky tape. So that's all right. And then we need, of course, some scissors. And got my glue stick as well. And then these two straws exactly or you could have uh, pipe cleaners or sticks anything like that will do and then I've got one two three paint brushes three paint brushes because we're going to use three different colors so I've gone for exactly yellow and yep purple very light purple and orange I thought these colours might be quite nice giraffe colours, but you can do any, you can use any colours you want to, or any colours that you have at home. Really doesn't matter. It's your giraffe, and you make it look you make it look as good as you can. Right, let's get started. So here we go. Take your big piece of card first, and find your big plate. So here it is. Put that on there, can you see, just like that? Perfect, and then get a pencil or any other pen or even one of your wax crayons and trace around it. I'll do it like this so you can see, whoop. And then like this, whee. And for the last bit, I actually have to put it flat on the table. Right, all the way around. There we are. There's my circle, 
Oh, it's not very easy to see. There you go. What do you think we should do with that? Exactly, cut it out. So let's find our scissors. And we'll go snip, 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 snip. That's it. And take your time. We want to do it nice and carefully, don't we? Which part of the giraffe is this going to be, do you think? Do you think it's the head? Hmm. Remember, it's the biggest plate that we've used, so it must be the body. Exactly. It must be the giraffe's body. Oh, goodness me. Quite hard, isn't it? I've got quite thick card. You might have different material, different card. Oh. Right. Hard work this, but we're nearly done. And snip. And here's my big circle. Just give it a minute to, to give everybody the chance to cut out theirs. Nice and round. Okay, so we'll put this here for the giraffe's body. Now next, we need the very long neck. That's right, the long neck. So get your other bit of card that you have. And to do the neck, I mean, what could we draw around? Do you want to have a quick look around your room and see if you can find anything that you could draw around that sort of looks like a neck shape? I'll show you mine again. So mine is here. So it's basically just a very long rect rectangle, isn't it? Look, yes, a rectangle. So just this sort of shape. I think I might use, oh, this looks rather perfect. I might use my ruler for it. It's quite good, isn't it? Yes, so that's what we'll do. Or you can just draw a neck. You might just be really good at drawing and just draw your own neck and cut it out. So I'll give it a go now. I'll draw around my ruler and cut that out. There we are. So that's my neck. Yeah. There there. And I'm using an old cereal box because at Planet Art we like to recycle, don't we? We reuse and we recycle, which means we make something new out of something old. We don't just want to throw that in the bin, do we? We recycle. And that's a brilliant job that you're so good at recycling. Well done, everybody. So there we are, that's the neck. That's my neck. Let's tidy that up a bit. There, so here we go, there's my body and my neck. Let me see yours. Brilliant. Wonderful, everybody. Now, what do we need next? The head, exactly, the head. So here we go, more card. Well, in fact, I've got a little... No, I'll use this one. More card. You know what to do by now. Plate on the card, just like that. And we trace around. Whoops. There we are, round and round. There, you will do a much better job than me because you will do it on your table, won't you? There we go. That's my circle. And what do we need to do next? Of course, we cut it out. Cut, cut, cut. Tell you what, your giraffe will be very pleased to have a head. It'll be very good. There. Round and round in a circle. So slowly but steadily, it's beginning to look like a giraffe. Isn't it? We've got the body. We've got the neck. And now we've got the head. There we are. Brilliant. You're very good at this. So put all your bits on top of each other so we don't lose anything. I'm going to make a little pile here. There. One more thing we need. What does the giraffe need for walking and running and dancing? Legs, of course. How many? How many legs does the giraffe have? Hmm. Is it two? Is it six? Ah, oh, four, thank you. 
Thanks for telling me. Thank goodness I can rely on you guys. Thank you. Right, four legs. Now I'm going to draw my own. In fact, I've got a pen here. I might just draw around that for legs. It's quite a good leg shape, isn't it? Nice and long and skinny. So I'll do that. I'm sure you've got a pen or something that you could just take and draw around. So how many did you say? Four, thank you. One. Two. Three. And four. I've actually just drawn four lines next to each other and then I can just cut those out. Snip, snip, snip. Quite a lot of cutting today, isn't it? But you know, that's really good because that's good practice to make you a super duper cutter. And when you're good at cutting, you can make so many things. You wouldn't believe it. It's amazing what you can make when you're very good at cutting. And I can tell that all of you are. Very good. I wonder what colour scissors everybody has. Why not pink? Aren't they? Right, let's just do a leg count. One, two, three, whoops, and four. Now, here comes the fun bit. We have to assemble it all together. Let's just check on my one again. Here we are. So place the things in front of you on your table. So put the legs, put the tummy, the body on the table and put your legs how you might want to have him, have them. There, lovely. And then the long neck, which is going to be quite tall, isn't it? And then that's why it's a giraffe, because it's tall. And the last thing, the head on the top. Now we have to staple it all together, to staple it all in position with our stapler. If there's a grown up near you, could you please go and ask them for help? Because it's a little bit tricky and you might just need a little bit of help. Okay. Well done, you've got someone, that's good. So you tell them exactly where you want them to staple it for you. So click, and then the top bit. If you don't have a stapler, don't worry. You could just as well, look, I'll show you. You could just as well take some sellotape and stick the things on. That's all right too, so don't worry. It's just a bit faster with the stapler. So I'll do some with sellotape to show you and some with a stapler, okay? There, see, here I use sellotape. Oh, not sure, oh yeah, you can see how it's shiny. And then here I've used my staple. It's just one staple, that's more than fine. Right, four leggies on there, one, click, two, click, Three, click, whoops, and four. Now then, it is looking a lot like a giraffe now, isn't it? Look at that. Woohoo, let me see yours. Ah, oh, amazing. Wow, I'm so impressed. You are so clever. Right, now what we need, we don't really want to, like a, box coloured giraffe do we no we want it to be fun so let's get our crayons out and choose color that color it in any color you want to because over the top we're going to go with some paint so we'll just do this just color color it in like this doesn't have to be neat because we go over it with paint in the end don't we so I'll show you how we do it. Just get any crayons you want, any colours, and just do it like that. So just colour it in any colour you want. Make it nice and colourful. The more colours, the better. And we just want to make sure we colour the boring old cardboard colour. Okay, because that would be no fun to have a 
a beigey brownie sort of giraffe, would it? We want happy, funky giraffes, don't we? Colour, colour, colour. Oh. Colour, colour, colour. There we are. Lovely. So I'm using yellow, turquoise, orange. What colours are you guys using? Oh, some of you are using brown. Some are using red. Pink, lovely. Pink, I don't actually have a pink crayon. But this sort of colour, peachy colour, that might be nice too. Is anybody using green? Oh, probably brown, I can imagine, because when I think of giraffes, I sort of think of yellow and brown. But we are making funky giraffes, aren't we? The more colour, the better. Woo! Colour, colour. Look, it's looking like, like this for now. Just, look, just mess up all the colours. I know it doesn't look great now, but it will do. It will do. There. Uh, I might go for red. Red is always nice, isn't it? And then two more legs. How are you getting on? There. Quite a big job this, isn't it, actually? There. Green. One more leg. Look. This is how far I got. One more leg. And I'm going for... Da, 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 da. Oh, light green, lovely. Right, so we've done all this work now. Give your hands a little shake. Oh, stretch your fingers a bit. Go this way and that way and this way and that way and up and to the side and up again and to the side. Shake them in front of you, to the side, to the other side, behind you, up to the side, in front of you, to the side, up. To the side, to the front. Right, lovely. That's better, isn't it? Now, next thing, we need our paints. One, two, and three. So I've got a plate here. If you can see, I just splodged some paint onto the plate. You might have a paper plate or you might have a paint palette. Whatever you want to use to put your three blobs of paint on. So I've got one here. That's my lilac -y sort of colour, this. And then I'm using orange. Orange. And the last one I'm using is yellow, but you can use any colour you want to. It really doesn't matter. It's your giraffe and you're the artist. It doesn't matter. Use whatever you think is pretty. So the first thing we do, take a brush, choose the first colour. So I'm starting off with orange. And just cover the whole giraffe, look, the whole thing, let me show you, cover that in orange, so just like that. Over your wax crayon, there we are, obviously, you don't hold up your giraffe, do you? Leave yours on the table, I just want to show you, so like that. So yours is, it'll be much easier for you to do it on the table, it's a bit funny holding it up and painting and also makes a mess. I'm making quite a mess here now, aren't I? But I know you won't, of course. There. Orange, all oh, lovely. All over the giraffe. All over her body. That's it. So I've done my neck, my body. How far have you got so far? Whee! Paint, paint, paint. Lovely. This is fun, isn't it? I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's finished. Right, just two more legs. And then I'm already thinking which colour might I use next. I'm going to go for, so remember the colours I used. So I've already used my orange. I've got lavender, lavender lilac-y colour left and yellow. I'm going to go for lilac-y spots next. So the next thing we do, choose another paintbrush. And in you go into your second colour. And we do spots all over our giraffe so spot spots on the face spots on the body on the neck everywhere a spotty giraffe look at that well they do have spots don't they so can you see that 
I put mine on the table now just so I don't make too much of a mess here. Gosh, this is messy, I'm telling you. Do you look like me? Look at my hands. Right, lots of splodges. Splodge, splodge, splodge. Splodge, splodge, splodge. Ooh. Splodge, 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 splodge. And two more. So now my giraffe looks like this. And hopefully, your, hopefully yours look quite similar too. There you go. Let me see yours. Fabulous. You are so much better than me. Right. The last thing we have to do, pick your last paintbrush. There we are. Here's mine. And, and dip it into your last colour. So mine is yellow. And what we do now is swirly whirlies all over the giraffe. Swirly whirly lines like that. And through the other colours, you just go all through it to get a really nice effect in the end. You'll be surprised how nice this turns out. It doesn't look like much now, but it will do, trust me. Ooh, all over. So, again, I'll finish it on the table so don't make too much of a mess. Ooh, this is fun, isn't it? I like doing the swirlies. Oh, I've run out of paint. Let's get some more. Splodge. There. If you need more paint, maybe you can ask your adult, or your grown-up in, in the area, that you can see if they can give you some more. There, so I've done my swirly whirlies all over. It doesn't have to be neat, so don't worry. There, just like that. Okay, that's how far we got now. So, the next thing, let's just wait a minute till everybody gets to the same stage. Can't wait to see what it looks like when it's finished. Here. Oh, do you know what we need now? And I'm not quite sure where mine is. We need our fork. Um, I'll just go and get my fork, all right? Be back in a minute. You might have to get yours too. Okay, here I am. Here's my fork. There we are. And what we do now, we take our giraffe and very carefully we do that. Make patterns in it. And then you should be able to see some of the wax crayon colours that you did at the very beginning. Do you remember? That was the first thing we did, wasn't it? You just sort of scratch it into there, the pattern. Let me do that on the table. Or you can pull it, just pull the fork down just like that. Or go swirly, whirly, swirly, whirly. Whatever you like. I'm actually doing swirly, whirlies. Oh, I can even hear that. Might be easier if you turn your fork around like this. It depends. You could either do this or this. I'm doing it this way. Let me show you this way. See? I find that easier. Obviously not when I'm holding it because for this you really do need a table, don't you? Swirly, whirly, swirly, whirly, swirly. And don't forget the legs. Legs. Oh. Oh, it's beginning to look nice. I do like it. Does yours look nice? I bet, I bet they do. You all look like little artists to me. So I bet yours are wonderful. Right, brilliant. Well done, everybody. But mine is nearly finished. How are you getting on? Good, excellent. Whee! Lovely, can you see how nice it looks with the swirly whirlies, look. I think it turns out beautifully, doesn't it? How lovely. Bet yours are amazing too. So what we'll do now, we'll put these to dry. Give your hands a little clean if you look anything like me. I made a mess. I bet you haven't. I have made a complete mess. 
of everything, in fact. Everything around me is covered in paint. But that's fun, isn't it? I love getting messy. Do you like getting messy? Oh, it's brilliant, isn't it? One of my favourite things. So I tell you what, while we're waiting, let's wait for that to dry a bit. And I think we could all do... Sorry, I'm just looking for a wet wipe. We could all do with a little rest. So I think I'm going to just wipe my hands properly because I really have made a mess. Um, there. I thought we could read a little story. Hmm. Does anybody know a book about a giraffe? Have a little think. Hmm. Put on your thinking faces. Hmm. Have you heard of Gerald? The giraffe. I bet you have. I bet most of you know this book. It's one of my favourites. I love this story. Do you know what it's called? Yes, exactly, you're right. Giraffes can't dance. So let's read that while we're waiting for our giraffe to dry a bit. And then we'll finish it off. Giraffes can't dance. By Giles Andre, and illustrated by Guy Parker Reese. And here we are. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim. Stroke your necks. Very good. But his knees were awfully bandy and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots of trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Oh no, poor Gerald. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. Jungle dance, woohoo! And this year when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad. Because when he comes to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango, which was elegant and bold. Look, all oh, the animals are so good at dancing. The chimps all did the cha-cha-cha with a very Latin feel. And eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Wow! Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked towards the floor. But the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald. The animals all laughed. Ha, 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 ha. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, don't be daft. That's a bit mean, isn't it? Gerald simply, simply froze up. Ooh. He was rooted at the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before. So sad and all alone. Poor Gerald, look how sad he looks. Show me your sad faces. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. Look up at the sky, everybody. The moon can be so beautiful. He whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Hmm. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that that lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really wanted to. 
With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing around. <gasps> What's he going to do? <gasps> he threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Goodness me, look at him. Wow, how can he move like that? Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. Huh? I get the dentist. I'm dancing, yes, I'm dancing. I'm dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. Oh, goodness me. How is it you can dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twizzled round and finished with a bow. Look at him. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. Look up, everyone. See the moon and the stars above? We all can dance when we find music that we love. Yes, we can all dance, can't we? When we find music that we love, we can all dance. Exactly. So, shall we have a little giraffe boogie while we're waiting and then hopefully our giraffes are a little bit drier and then we can finish them off. Yes? Right, jump up, everybody. Now I'll do, I'll shuffle back a bit. Alexa, repeat. I'll repeat the song. Get ready. Well done, everybody. What good movers you are. Amazing. Just like Gerald, everybody can dance. Whew, I am worn out. So just as well, we're finishing off our giraffes. Look, ta-da. Now they're still not quite dry. But here's a little trick. Maybe ask your grown-up for some kitchen roll. And then you could just go dab, dab, dab. And just go over it a little bit. Just to help it dry a little bit faster. Look. I'm just going to go dab, dab, dab. Dab, dab. Dab, dab, dab. Dab, dab. Dab, dab. Dab, dab. Dab, dab. Dab, dab. Dab, There you go. There's a bit more paint on the paper. And a bit less on your giraffe. Right. This will do. Now. What? else does our giraffe need have we got a head check has he got a neck check has he got a body check has he got legs check how many one two three four has he got eyes no our poor giraffe can't see anything yet so what do we need we need some paper some paper and a pen. Where's my pen here? And I've got some paper. Have I got paper? Um, well, I've got, I have have got some paper here. Okay, so let's just draw two eyes or you can cut them straight away. What actually what I might do, I will fold my paper. I don't really want to use this paper. Well, I use, I use it. So I'll just get my paper there just a strip of paper that's all we need and then I'll fold it in half because then I can make sure that each eye is the same size so you can just fold your paper in half then draw your circle on it your eye I'll do it with a pencil so I'm looking at the head to just see how big it might need to be yeah I'll just do a circle like this just like that and then we cut them out. See, and the thing is, because we folded it, so we go cut, 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 
And we cut them out together and then we make, then we know they're both the same size. How clever is that? Perfect. All right, I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw a black circle around it. Just like that. But you don't have to do that. You make your eyes look however you want them to look. Okay? Whee. And then I'm going to do the black dots inside the eyes, the little pupils. One here. And one here. There. So mine look like this. And yours can be completely different or the same. It really doesn't matter. It's your giraffe. On the back, a little bit of, what do we need to make them stick? Exactly, your glue sticks. Here we are. Little bit of glue, pop. One. Pop it onto your giraffe. And two, pop. Very good. Oh, this is good. It's beginning to look good, isn't it? Look, here's mine. Look at that. Ooh, lovely. Gerald's very happy that he can see now. What does it need to munch the leaves? A mouth, of course. Now that's sort of overly shaped. Do you know what an oval is? It's sort of like that, isn't it? It's like an egg. Do you think, or like a... Sort of like a zero. Do you think you can draw a big zero onto your piece of paper? Quite a big one. Look, I'll do it. Like an egg or a zero, just like that. Think you can do that? Of course you can do that. Of course you can. You're a little artist. Silly me asking questions like that. Can you draw an egg? Of course you can. I know that. <laughs> and again, what do we need? So that's the mouth and we can just draw the little bits for the nose, the little nostrils. We can just draw them at the top. One and two. Just like that. There we are. And then glue on the back. You know that. Easy peasy glue on the back. Hep. And there it goes. And if you want, actually, I think it might be nice. If your giraffe had a little smile, what do you think? Whoop, nearly fell off my chair there. Look, a little smile, ready? Right, let's do it. Ready, steady, whee! Ah, ah, see, our giraffe is happy because he, he discovered that he can dance so well. Right, let's just wait for everybody. Show me two thumbs up if you've all got this. Excellent, you're super duper, aren't you? So, for the little horns on the head, see like with this one, those, I'm using straws, but you can use whatever you have, sticks or pipe cleaners or lollipop sticks, whatever you fancy, you might, or even paper. Okay, so just cut them however long you want them to be. I'll just snip this one in half because that's actually long enough. So snip. And the best way to stick them on the back is with sellotape. Now, if you need help from your grown-up, please just ask them if they would just help you. If they would just stick the sellotape on for you like this, and then you can stick it at the back of Gerald's head. There's one. Just like this. Let me show you. I'll bend down, Gerald. There, there's one. On the top of his head, that's where they've got them. I wonder if I wonder how many of you have seen giraffes before. Do you want to know something funny about giraffes? Guess what? Half an hour after they've been born, they can stand up. Oh, we couldn't do that, could we? When we were babies, it took us ages. It took us a year to stand up, at least. Didn't it? How clever do you think giraffes are? Very clever, aren't they? I love giraffes. Just so nice. And they always look friendly and peaceful, don't they? Oh, there we go. Two horns on the head. Look at this. Oh, this is lovely. I can't wait to see all yours. Hello. Hello. 
Emma Gerald. There. The very last thing we need is two ears, exactly. Two ears. Now you can make them however you want. I think a good ear shape actually is to draw around, if I can find my pencil, to draw around one of your fingers. Because actually it sort of looks like a giraffe's ear, doesn't it? Again, remember to fold your paper before you draw a shape because then they're exactly the same size and you can easily cut out two at the same time, can't you? But I've drawn this shape and then we just cut this out and stick them at the sides and then we're finished. How brilliant is that? You've been so amazing. You've made a giraffe, you've listened to a story and you had a bit of a boogie. Brilliant. So what I'm gonna do with my two ears I'll just dip them, I'll just press them onto the, onto the body of my giraffe because it's actually still a bit wet. So I'll just press them on and then look, they've got some paint and then a little bit of print stick, exactly. What would we do without our print sticks? I don't know. There, now where do the giraffes go? Where do the ears go on a giraffe? I think at the side. I'm going to stick mine at the side, but you don't have to do that. It's your giraffe. Ta-da! Hello. And there we have it. There's mine. I can't wait to see pictures of all of yours. I bet yours look amazing. I cannot wait to see them. So if they're still, if they're still not quite dry, just leave them on a bit of paper, a bit of newspaper or something. So well done, everybody. I think you should all give yourselves a pat on the back and say, well done me. You've done amazingly well. I'm so proud of you. And I can't wait to see you next time when it's time for Planet Art. Bye, everyone. Bye. Have a nice day. Well done for today.